Hi everybody, I'm Victoria from Cozy and Country here in partnership with Cozy Owl and now that we're coming over to the festive season I'm here to show you how to make our own three wick candle which would make the perfect gift for anybody. So let's get started. So here I have 800 grams of container paraffin wax. I also have my wicks, these are the Eco 12s. We've gone for 50 millilitres of winter spruce to keep it festive. Uh, and we've got a grey dye here, which should go perfectly with the scent. I also have my glue dots just here, which you can just pop out and use like this. I also have my container. This is a 55 centilitre container. I've got my electric weighing scale my wooden spoon, my boiler and my thermometer. I also have this little centering tool uh, which I will come to. Uh, so firstly measure out your wax. For this container I'm going to use 600 grams of wax. Now I know it's 55 centilitres but I'd rather have too much than too little. Um, so I'd like to just overdo it a little bit. So I'm just measuring out 600 grams here. And once your wax is all meshed out, you can pop it onto medium heat and keep giving it a good stir through. Try not to let it exceed 65 degrees, but if you do, don't worry about it. Uh, we can take it off a bit later. But in the meantime, let's start with our wicks. So I have drawn a template here uh, and I have just drawn right around the container, as you can see. And then I've measured about one and a half inches in between each dot. So I'll just get my ruler here and show you that it is one and a half inches between each dot. That will be perfect for the diameter of this container. Uh, so on top of the dots, we'll just pop the container over and get it nice and central, make sure it's all perfect. And then we'll take our glue dots and pop them to the base of each wick. Just like that and make sure it's well stuck then take off the other side and we'll stick it right on top of one of the little dots and we'll do that for each wick making sure that they are completely central and once all your wicks are in place on top of the dots take away the template and what you want to do here is just well trim off some of the edges because I used quite a large piece of uh, scrap paper for this so I'm just going to trim each side just to make it a little bit smaller and what I'm going to do here I'm going to cut a little slice in between each dot and what that'll do that'll give me somewhere to be able to pour my wax through because I'm going to use this template to keep the wicks in place as well. You can use things like clothes pegs but I don't have anything like that uh, so I am just going to use this template. So on here I'm just going to snip a little nick out of each dot and then I know that I can place it straight on top and just feed my wicks through the top so I'll just open them up a little bit like this just to give me a little bit of room to push them through and you'll see here that they do go in quite easily just make sure you pull them nice and tight just so that they're not wiggling all over the place and you don't want them to fall but that will stay nice and secure for me to be able to pour my wax in and the wicks won't move when I do pop. So moving on to our wax, I've just come back to it just to double check the temperature of it because I would like to it have not have exceeded 65 degrees but I know that it will have done because I have had it boiling for quite a little while. So all I'm going to do now, I'll show you the temperature and it is way over 65 degrees as you can see on there. So then I'm just going to take it off the heat just for around 5-10 minutes and let it cool down. And once I'm back to it, I'll just check the temperature again and it is under the 65 degrees now so I've just popped it back onto a medium heat and I'm just going to chuck in all three grams of my grey dye and give it a really good stir around just to make sure that the dye melts all the way through the wax. Now that I'm happy all my dye has melted through the wax I'm going to move on to my fragrance oil and gradually I'm going to put in around 50 millilitres which is what I have in this bottle. I measured out 600 grams of wax, which will give me around a 10% ratio to my fragrance oil and wax. So just pop it back onto a medium heat once you've done that and give it a really good stir. You want to make sure that the dye and the fragrance oil go through the wax all the way. So 
once you're happy pour straight through to the little corner part way up I don't usually go all the way to the top or well you wouldn't anyway uh, but I, I like to leave a little bit of room and then once you've poured the first bit leave it for around half an hour just to set and then when you return just top up so this is why I like to leave a little bit of room at the top just so that I can give it a good top up and then it'll smooth over and then leave it for at least overnight they do normally want around 24 hours but on this occasion I'm going to come back to it after another hour or so show you how it's looking and then I'm going to trim the wicks down um, I trim the wicks down to around five mil millimeters um, but remember just because this hasn't been left overnight I definitely won't be burning it until at least another 24 hours 